Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am Elder Cosmic E. Sims. Na mimi ni Mama Felicia Boke Sims. We are Jesus Reigns Restoration Ministry. Amen. Amen. And this is part two of our lesson. Hii ni sehemu ya pili ya somo hili. Trust no man. Si muamini mtu yoyote. Trust no man. Put your trust in the living God. Weka tumaini lako kwa Mungu aliye hai. Let your trust lie with Jesus. Wacha tumaini lako likae katika Bwana Yesu. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles to Galatians. Tafadhali tuelekeze Biblia zetu. Chapter 1. Kitabu cha Galatia sura ya kwanza. And we're going to start with verse 6 and 7. Mstari wa 6 na wa 7. Would you read that please? Tasoma katika jina la Bwana. Na stajabu kwa kuwa mnamwacha upesi hivi yeye aliyewaita katika neema ya Kristo na kugeukia injili ya namna nyingine wala si nyingine lakini wapo watu wawataabishao na kutaka kuigeuza injili ya Kristo the church of uh, Gal- uh, Gal- the church of Galilee Galatia Galatia mm-hmm. and uh uh he Paul had to send a letter Paul ibidi atumie barua watakatifu wa Galatia because of the fact that there are many that were waving concerning the faith that they, they wanted to be under the law kwa maana wengi walikuwa wanatetereka katika imani wanataka tena kujiweka chini ya sheria given another interpretation of the gospel wakipata tafsiri nyingine tofauti ya maandiko amen, amen. So, So he's saying here he's saying I marvel I'm surprised akasema anashangaa that you are so removed from him that called you into grace of Christ unto another gospel Yaani tu wanajiweka mbali na yule aliyewaita katika injili ya kweli ndani ya Kristo Yesu We are saved by grace and faith in Christ Jesus Tunaokolewa kwa imani kwa neema na imani katika Yesu Kristo which is not another gospel but there are some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. Yaani anasema sio tu hiyo wale kuna wale ambao wanajaribu kuwatoa katika imani kwa kifupi. And then today you is show time concerning people that are perverting the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yaani unakuta ni kama maonyesho fulani hivi kujionyesha kwa watu ambao wanaichakachua injili ya Yesu Kristo and the world interpret what they see these people these false teachers and these false pastors and, and apostles do they, it brings a mockery it brings a dis, a disgrace against the church mambo yanayofanya yanaleta aibu katika kanisa la Kristo and people say people think that all Christians and and every bit of the church world or the church where we we are Christians and we worship are the same watu wanadhania kwamba yani wakristo wote wako sawa tu wako kikapu kimoja and we're not sio kweli and there are many that are make not only make a mockery out of the church and pervert the church kuna wengi ambao sio kwamba kwamba tu wanaleta dhihaka wanaliaibisha kanisa la kristo but they they make the they use the church and use the name of Jesus to make money. Bali wanatumia kanisa la Kristo kama biashara kujiletea kipato. For remember Jesus beat the money changers out of the house of God and turned over the money changers tables. Kumbuka bwana Yesu alipindua ali, ali zile meza za wale wafanya biashara na wageuza pesa kwenye kalo la Bwana. And Jesus said, Na bwana Yesu alisema That my house is a house of prayer among all nations. Kwamba yani nyumba yake ni nyumba ya maombi kwa mataifa yote. But you have made it a den of thieves and of merchandise. Lakini wao wameifanya kuwa uh, ni kama danguro hivi la, la wezi na na la biashara. Who has written in the word of God by the prophets. Kwa maana iliandikwa na manabii katika neno la Bwana. The zeal of thine house has eaten me up. Yaani shauku ya, ya, ya nyumba yako imeni 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 imenizidi nguvu imenitawala. Amen. Read Amen. 8 and 9 please. Nitasoma katika jina la Bwana mstari wa 8 na wa 9. Lakini japokuwa sisi au malaika wa mbinguni atawahubiri ninyi injili yoyote isipokuwa hiyo tuliyowahubiri na alaaniwe. Kama tulivyo tangulia kusema na sasa nasema tena 
mtu awaye yote akiwahubiri ninyi injili yoyote isipokuwa hiyo mlioipokea na alaaniwe but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you that which we have preached unto you mm -hmm. let him be accursed as we said before mm -hmm. so say i now again mm -hmm. if any man preach any other gospel unto you mm -hmm. then that ye have received mm -hmm. let him be accursed amen the man of god is saying if anybody if i angel anybody from heaven anybody come to you with another word another gospel that they are cursed. Mtumishi wa Mungu amnawaambia hapa hata yeye mwenyewe mtumishi wa Mungu ikitokea tu siku kaibuka na anahubiri injili iliyo tofauti na ile iliyoandikwa kwenye neno hili la Bwana basi na yeye hata yeye alaaniwe. Remember a curse is the opposite of a blessing. Kumbuka tumesema hapo awali laana ni kinyume cha baraka. If someone come to you with another gospel other than the gospel of Jesus Christ they're damned, they're doomed. They are cursed. Yaani yoyote anayekuja kwako na injili ambayo haimo ndani ya kitabu hiki cha Bwana Biblia, huyo mtu amelaaniwa ni amesha hukumiwa, yani yuko katika njia kwa kweli ya mauti. Amen. Huo ndio kweli halisia. Because they oppose the the word of God. Amen. Kwa maana wanapingana na neno la Bwana. And they call God a lie in doing the opposite of which God has called us to Wana, do. Yaani wanamfanya Mungu kama ni muongo. Verse 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 10. Wa kumi. Read read 10 uh, through 12 please. Mstari wa 10 mpaka 12 nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Maana sasa je, na ni, ni wanadamu ninao washawishi au Mungu? Au nataka kuwapendeza wanadamu? Kama ningekuwa hata sasa na wapendeza wanadamu, singekuwa mtumwa wa Kristo. Kwa maana Ndugu zangu, injili hiyo niliwahubiri nawa julisha ya kuwa sio ya namna ya kibinadamu kwa kuwa sikuipokea kwa wanadamu wala sikufundishwa na wanadamu bali kwa ufunuo wa Yesu Kristo. Amen. Verse 10. For do I now persuade men or God or do I seek to please men? Mm -hmm. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. If I'm out to please people, Kama nipo na kupendeza tu watu, if I'm out to do what the people say do instead of what God say do, na kufanya watu, sema, ni ambia, ni, I cannot be the servant of Christ. Wa mungu anasema, Christ and you have a lot wanasema. of people, you have the Bible call these people that please people. Biblia nasema hawa ni watu ambao wanajitahidi kupendezesha watu. Teachers that have itching ears. Ni walimu wa yani wa kufundisha watu ambao wana masikio yanawashwa kuambiwa vitu vizuri vizuri. People that look for teachers or people that tell them that they say when they're not. Watu wanaojaribu kuambia wao wameokolewa wako njia hiyo hiyo sawa wakati hawapo njia iliyo sawa. Prosperity preachers that won't preach they'll preach about heaven, they'll preach about prosperity, they'll preach about wealth. And hallelujah, but they won't say nothing about sin. They won't say nothing about death. They won't say nothing about hell. Ba yani wa ubiri wale wa mafanikio. Wana ubiri mafanikio tu, baraka, neema, jisa kupata baraka. Hawa kemei dhambi. Hawa elezei mambo ya mbinguni, wala elezei mambo ya jihanamu. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The word of God talk, uh, 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 here it is, uh, Apostle Paul, Peter warned the church in reference to false brethren coming in unawares to overthrow the faith of many. Unaona mtumishi wa Mungu, mtumishi Paulo alisema, yani walimu wa uongo ambao watajaribu kuondoa wengi kutoka kwenye imani ya kweli. Praise God. Bwana isasifiwe. But I certify you brother that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man for I neither received it of man. Mm -hmm. Neither was I taught neither was taught it mm. of man mm. but by the revelation of Jesus Christ amen, amen. Mm. man didn't give this to me yani mtumishi wa Mungu asema mwanadamu hakumpa hiyo god Mwana gave it to me ni Mungu ndo amempa revelation revelation through his spirit kupitia ufunuo wa roho wake mtakatifu 
Not by my power, not by my might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Yani kwa sio kwa nguvu yake wala kwa mamlaka yake bali kwa roho wa Bwana, sema Bwana. Amen. The word of God is not of any private interpretation. Neno la Mungu sio la sisi wenyewe binafsi tu kwa kidhi zetu kulitafsiri tunavyotaka. But holy men of God were moved by the Holy Ghost. Bali ni kupitia watumishi wa Bwana walio sukumwa au walio shawishiwa walioelekezwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Amen. We are led by as many as were led by the spirit are the sons of God especially those that believe. Wale wanaoongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu ndio wana wa Mungu hasa wale wanaoamini. So I didn't you know I, I this right here this word that I have I learned it from God gave it to me. Hili neno ninalofundisha hapa mtumishi wa Mungu anasema Mungu amempatia. Nataka ufundishe fundisho somo hili. Many of us have not been to seminary school. Wengi wetu hatujaenda shule yoyote ya seminari. Many of us have not went to schools of theology. Wengi wetu hatujaenda shule za theology. We don't have a certificate to from a university to say that we're qualified as men or women of God. Hatuna certificate inatuambia sisi tumequalify kama watumishi wa Mungu. What qualifies us is being a born again baptized believer in Christ Jesus with the hallelujah with the seal of redemption of the Holy Ghost. Kinacho tu pasisi uh, qualification uh, vigezo ni kuwa tumeokoka tumebatizwa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti na Roho Mtakatifu ndio anayetuongoza. Being led by the spirit of God. Tukiongozwa na Roho Mtakatifu wa Bwana. Remember the, and being receiving the spirit of God they come gifts. Kumbuka kupokea Roho Mtakatifu wa Bwana kuna karama, kuna vipaji. Amen. Amen. And the gifts of helps the being a prophecy. Wengine unabii kufundisha, kusaidia za kusaidia wengine watu wengine kusaidia kanisani. The of the spirit when you read in Galatians. Hebu kasome matunda ya Roho Mtakatifu vizuri. Hallelujah. There are many gifts. Kuna karama. Love is a gift. Upendo ni karama. Amen. Imani ni karama. Hallelujah. Man can't give you that. Mwanadamu hawezi kukupa. But God can. Lakini Bwana anaweza. Hallelujah. What's impossible with man is possible with God. Yote yasiyowezekana kwa kwa wanadamu yanawezekana kwa Bwana. Utu wema. Hey. Praise God. Hallelujah. Waminifu. Let's uh 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 10 through verse 16. We're going re- I want you to read 1 Corinthians 4:10 and 11 please. jina la Bwana, hebu tafadhali fungua waraka wa kwanza wa Korinto, sura ya nne mstari wa kumi. Nitasoma kumi na kumi na moja katika jina la Bwana. Sisi tuwapumbavu kwa ajili ya Kristo, lakini ninyi ni wenye ekili, wenye akili katika Kristo. Sisi tu dhaifu, lakini ninyi mna nguvu. Ninyi mna utukufu lakini sisi hatupati heshima. Hata saa hii ya sasa tuna njaa na kiu. Tuuchi twapigwa ngumi. Tena hatuna makao. Haleluya. When people t- people come to challenge you your knowledge in Christ. Don't you whatever you do Paul say you stand. Yaani unapokuja kwa Yesu Kristo, mtumishi Paulo alishatuambia, chochote unachofanya simama imara. Remember in the beginning of the lesson in part 1, let no man deceive you. Kumbuka kwenye so, sehemu ya kwanza ya somo hili, kuna andiko tulipewa kwamba tusikubali mtu yoyote atudanganye. Let no man despise thy youth. Mtu yoyote asidharau ujana wako, inawezekana wewe ni mchanga katika imani. Amen. Amen. Put your trust in nobody but the living God. Usiweke tumaini lako kwa mwanadamu, weka tumaini lako kwa Bwana katika mambo yako yote. Remember the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Kumbuka hatua za mwenye haki huongozwa na Bwana. Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. For 1 Corinthians 4 and 10, we are fools for Christ's sake, but ye are wise in Christ. We are weak but we are strong. We are honorable, but we are despised. Amen. What do that mean? That mean, we, hey, I, I, I believe God. You know, some people, they say, well, right, that'd be foolish to even listen to that or follow that. Yeah, many religions in the world. Mm-hmm. You don't, you don't take all that. You know, 
I'm fool enough to believe that this word is true. Yaani kuna wengi ambao wanatuona tu yani tumepo, tumepotea hatuna maarifa eh kwamba imani haiko hivyo hayo ni nyinyi nimezidi mno kwamba yani si tumeamua tuonekane tu wajinga kwa kufuata ile neno la Bwana not to believe them that is foolish to follow Christ no but hallelujah uh, that that uh, when it comes to being a uh, to my belief in the gospel and belief in God fo- fo- being foolish in their eyes not to follow them Yaani ni afadhali nionekane mjinga lakini nisiwafuate. Kwa dunia hii nionekane mjinga lakini niamue kutokuwafuata sasa neno la Mungu nalofuata. They count us to be foolish. Ambao wanatuona sisi tunaofuata injili ya Kristo kwamba And what we do is vain. Kwamba tunachofanya ni kazi bure, tunapoteza muda. Amen, but but what they call being foolish is the wisdom our wisdom in God to follow God and to trust God. Yakini kile wanachokiita ni cha kipuuzi ni tunamfuata tuna Kristo tunamwamini Mungu. Amen. Amen. Uh, we, we it's times that we are weak but he say but ye are strong. Kuna wakati tunakuwa dhaifu lakini tunajijua katika Kristo tuna nguvu. Apostle Paul he sought, he sought the Lord three times because he had a thorn in his flesh. Mtumishi Paulo alimsii Bwana mara tatu kwa maana alikuwa ana tatizo katika mwili wake. The messenger of Satan to buffet him. Yaani nini? Adu, yaani adu, ugonjwa, adui ambao ulikuwa umepandwa na adui katika mwili And what was God's answer? Jibu la Bwana lilikuwa ni nini? My grace is sufficient for you. Neema yangu inakutosha. When you are weak I will make you strong. Ukiwa dhaifu mimi nitakufanya ukiwa na That's where the scriptures say we are weak but yet we are strong. Nicho maana maandiko linasema tunaonekana wadhaifu lakini tuna nguvu katika Bwana. We are honorable. We are honorable. Hallelujah. But yet despised. Tunaheshimika lakini tunadharauliwa. Yaani na wanadamu. We are kings and priests and kings, priests and and there are some queens in God's kingdom. Yaani sisi ni warithi wa ufalme wa mbinguni. Honorable because we have a royal priesthood. Ndio maana tunasema tunaheshimika. A holy nation. Tuna utukufu, yani ta, taifa takatifu. A peculiar people. Watu ambao ni tofauti. The show praises of a living God. Tumeitiwa kuinua sifa za Bwana. But the world despises us. Lakini walio wa ulimwengu wanatudharau. There are some that are of, of being executed just for having a Bible. Wapo ambao wengine waumini wanauawa kwa sababu ya imani yao katika In these years and this year this year of of 2023 these things are going on of persecution of Christians. Even, even recently uh, here it is a, a christian in a nation hallelujah in a in a college was hallelujah stoned and she was burnt to death because she just gave jesus the glory for being in school Kuna dada mmoja katika chuo kikuu kimoja wapo nchi ya na Afrika Magharibi Nigeria huko amefaulu tu vizuri shuleni akasema ninampa Bwana Yesu utukufu kwa sababu kile chuo kilikuwa nadhani ni cha upande ambao sio wa Kristo alipigwa mawe na akachomwa moto And the devil used it, made it made, took the opportunity to say that she blasphemed and to to hallelujah to kill her but hallelujah great is her reward in heaven na shetani alichukua nafasi hiyo wakasema eti kwamba wamekufuru lakini thawabu yake ni kubwa mbinguni kufa kwa ajili ya Kristo When you go to these other nations they have their laws they have their rules they have their religions so you know what we being led by the spirit we have to be careful because the the the, the prince of this world the god of this world he has a lot of people working for him too. Katika dunia hii tunapoenenda, tutaenenda kufanya kazi ya Mungu bila wasiwasi wowote lakini tuwe makini kwa sababu shetani ana watu kila mahali. Amen. Amen. Tuongozwe na roho wa Bwana. When it come to these other faith and religions, tukienda katika hizi imani nyingine na dini nyingine, they have a Christian mark for death because of the fact that they see us as infidels. Kuna wakristo ambao wameshahukumiwa mauti kwa sababu tuna wanahesabika wao ni makafiri. We don't as Christians we that's not according to our gospel to put somebody to death because they do not convert. Tunajua 
katika imani yetu kama wakristo mtu atusemi mtu anastahili kuuawa kwa sababu amekataa kuwa mkristo but if he so of a will let him come kila mtu anakuja kwa Yesu Kristo kwa hiari yake na kwa anavyoona yeye yuko tayari kuja I don't have a right to put anybody to death sina haki ya kumweka I don't judge no man But we have a righteous judge and his name is Jesus. Tunajua tuna hakimu mwenye haki ambaye ni Yesu Kristo. He is the Lord God. Yeye ndio Mungu mwenyezi. And he going hallelujah. Bwana and he said vengeance is mine I will recompense the Amesema yeye kisasi ni cha kwake. Yeye ndio atakaye lipizwa kwa wakati wake. So the difference in Christianity and all these other religions in the world is that it's a he so ever will when it comes to Christianity and that Hallelujah. God will be the judge, not man. Tofauti ya Ukristo na hizi dini zingine ni kwamba Bwana ye mwenyewe ndio anaruhusu watu waje kwa hiari yao. But many are intimidated and they fear man more than they fear God. Unakuta wengi wanaogopa wanadamu kuliko kumuogopa Mungu. Amen. Trust not man. Usimwamini mwanadamu yoyote. Don't trust no man. Usimtumainie mwanadamu yoyote. Hallelujah, but the living God. Sipokuwa Mungu ali hai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He Hey, read uh verse 11 and 12 please. Nitasoma mstari wa 11 na 12 katika Bwana. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. Hata saa hii ya sasa tuna njaa na kiu, tuuchi, twapigwa ngumi, tena hatuna makao. Kisha twataabika kukifanya ku, kukifanya kazi Tutaabika tukifanya kazi kwa mikono yetu wenyewe. Tuki, tukanwa, twabariki. Tukiudhiwa, twastahimili. Praise God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. There are many of us hallelujah that are being persecuted in the world today. Una wengi ambao tunasulubiwa duniani leo that are experiencing this example that I'm about to read. Wanapitia mifano hii ambayo atasoma. Even unto this present hour we both hunger, thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have a no certain dwelling place nowhere to live and, and labor working with our own hands being reviled we bless mm -hmm. being persecuted we suffer mm -hmm. we going through things right now We're going through various persecutions in the world. Yaani tunapitia adha mbalimbali duniani. And some tribulation. Eh kama ni yaani ni mambo yale ya dhiki kuu siku za mwisho. Wengine wameshaanza kupitia. And we steady working. We're not only working naturally but we're working spiritually for the Lord to win souls for Christ. Unaona watumishi wa Mungu wengi wana wameitwa kufanya kazi za kimwili za kawaida na kufanya kazi kwa Bwana katika siku hizo mwisho kwa ajili ya ufahamu wa mbinguni. And many are there are many that are, are suffering lack of uh, food and sh even food and shelter. Wengi wanakosa makazi, wanakosa chakula. But the Lord will make a way. Lakini Bwana atatengeneza njia. That's why he said wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait I say on the Lord. Ndio maana uh, neno la Mungu linasema msubirie Bwana na uwe na moyo mkuu. And we labor and we work with our own hands. Wanafanya kazi kwa mikono yao wenyewe. In the process of working with our own hands, there are people are around us uh, with other persuasions that revile us. Na unaona katika kufanya shughuli hizo kuna wale wanao tuzunguka ambao hawatuthamini. But we are steady blessing our enemy. Lakini tunaendelea kuwabariki wale ambao wanatuchukia. They steady cursing us but we steady blessing and feeding them. Wanatulaani lakini tunawabariki na hata kipata tupata nafasi tunawalisha. Why because God says so. Lakini Bwana amesema hivyo. And he said that he would keep coals of fire on their head because of what they do to us. Amesema ataweka makaa ya moto kutokana na hali wanayotendea. Being persecuted we we suffer. Tuki yani tunapopitia adha zote hizi tunapitia mateso fulani. The scriptures prove me to be true why and that I speak true. Because I told you about persecution that's going on right now. I gave you some examples of what's going on in the world right now. And here it is the scriptures coming back telling us about those that are persecuted and those who are suffering. Yaani mifano niliyotoka kutoa sasa hivi katika ulimwengu siku hizi za leo haya tunayakuta kwenye maandiko haya. And and 
where I gave the example about having lack of food and shelter and so forth, it's going to be a time that, according to prophecy, you won't be able to buy or sell unless you take the mark of the beast. Tumesha ambio katika maandiko kutoka na naunabii, kwamba e, tafika wakati utashindu wa kuuza wala kununua. Isipokuwa mtu amekubali kuchukua ile chapa ya, ya mnyama. Amen. This mm -hmm. right here is a what's going on today is a rehearsal for what's going to happen tomorrow. Kinachopitia leo ni kama vile mazoezi ya kile kitakachotokea siku zijazo. That's why we have to prepare ourselves. Ndio maana inabidi kujitayarisha. Amen and Amen. continue to work redeeming the time for the days are evil. Na kuendelea kufanya kazi kwa bidii kwa maana siku ni za uovu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How being defamed Hallelujah. We entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offspring and the and of all things unto this day. Mm -hmm. Did you read 13? 13. Read 13, 14, please. Itasoma 13 na 14 katika jina la Bwana. Hallelujah. Tukisingiziwa twasihi. Tumefanywa kama takataka za dunia. Na tama ya vitu vyote hata sasa. Siandiki hayo ili kuwa tahayarisha bali kuwaonya kama watoto ni wapendao. Hallelujah. Uh, 14. For the man of God is saying, I wrote these I wrote not these things to shame you to make you feel bad. But hallelujah as my beloved sons I warn you. Mhm. Mm You'll be a good minister of Jesus Christ when you put the people in remembrance of these things. Mtu yote yule anayemtumikia Bwana kwa uaminifu anafanya sahihi akiwakumbusha watu mambo haya. You'll be a good minister and witness of Jesus Christ if you warn people hallelujah of the consequences of putting their trust in man instead of God. Kama wewe ni shahidi unamshuhudia Kristo kwa usahihi Unafanya sahihi ukiwaonya watu kwamba wasiweke imani yao kwa wanadamu waweke imani yao kwa Kristo. Read 15 and 16 please. Itasoma 15 na 16 katika jina la Bwana. Kwa kuwa ijapokuwa mna walimu kumi elfu katika Kristo, walakini hamna baba wengi. Maana mimi ndimi nilie wazaa katika Kristo Yesu kwa njia ya injili. Basi na wasihi for though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have you not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. Mm. Wherefore, I beseech you, be ye followers of me. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul he said, follow me as I follow Christ. Mtumishi Paulo alicha sema, nifuate mimi, ninavu mfuata Christo. Amen. Amen. This conclude. Hapa tuna, ndio tutaka, tutaka po malizia, tutaka po ishia. Part 2 of our lesson. Katika semi ya pili ya somo letu. Trust no man. Usimuamini mtu yoyote, mwanadamu yoyote. Amen. Amen.